In the upcoming movie, A Scout's Guide to a Zombie Apocalypse, we learn top-notch tips from three scouts who face a zombie invasion. With the help of Berkeley students themselves, we've compiled a list of our top five survival tips for a zombie apocalypse. Tip number one, have a hiding spot. You need a hiding spot, where do you go? On top of the camp nearly, because zombies can't climb stairs. Oh, really? Yeah. Dwinnell, no one's gonna find me in there. Uh, Dwinnell, because it's amazing there. I would go to Moffitt, because even I get lost in there. Tip number two, blend in. <laughs> so you need to blend in. How are you gonna do that? Probably play dead. I wear leggings, a Birkenstocks, and a North Face jacket. Uh, just dress up as a desk. I'm gonna put on a pair of glasses and uh, put on a hoodie and just walk through the dark. Do it now, preferably. Tip number three, have an escape plan. How are you gonna escape? Um, <laughs> just throw one of the desks out the window and then run out. I guess I'll run up to Foothill because no one can follow me up there. I'm gonna dig through my piles of bad grades, find my worst midterm, tape it to my forehead, and then run through the trees on north side. Okay. I would probably just try to hide because I am not a fighter. <laughs> Tip number four, have a survival bag. You need a survival bag. What three things are you gonna bring? I'm gonna bring my calculator so I can calculate how fast I can run. I'm going to carry a pen in case I take notes on different zombies. And I'm probably gonna carry a bottle of water because uh, I'll get thirsty on a long night. Phone. Then probably ramen and a water boiler. Um, a knife, uh, some water, and your desk costume. <laughs> my phone, my charger, because my phone will die, and my headphones so I could actually listen to stuff without letting zombies know where I am. Tip number five, always bring protection. So the scout's biggest tip is to bring protection. What is your weapon of choice? Probably my physio textbook because that thing is huge and it definitely hurts me, so. My Bio 1A textbook because it weighs eight pounds, so it's a good weapon and it has some valuable information. Uh, a knife because uh, you can't, if you run out of ammo for your gun, you're, you're kind of out of luck. A grin, a smiling grin, because zombies are sad people. So there you have it. Tips on how to survive a zombie apocalypse here at UC Berkeley. This is Jasmine Pack reporting for Cal TV Entertainment. Thank you and good luck. In a one-of-a-kind event, these moviegoers will be able to sit in a D-Box immersive motion-activated chair and experience being inside a scene from the movie.